Disclaimer, the comments shown in this video were not handpicked and are the top comments in order of appearance on both my community blog post and the eco lifestyle reveal trailer at the time of filming this video. Those comments contain and express opinions and feelings that are not my own. Please do not bully and attack anyone for their opinions yet for any reason at all. Anyways, grab some popcorn, sit back and enjoy a thorough discussion video containing both constructive criticism and laughs. I love you guys. The chick that looks like a worm. <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? Is it a worm or is it a chick? What is it? Because I've been seeing both and I don't know what it is. It honestly looks like a bird, but apparently it's a worm. Everybody's been saying it's a worm. Kylie Jenner, when she sees this, <laughs> is that a chicken? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. Sorry if this is a little weird. I don't normally do this, but figured I would do it for this video because I feel like you guys are gonna need to see my reaction for what I'm gonna show you today. So if you don't already know, yesterday, Wednesday, May the 6th, The Sims team actually posted the reveal trailer for The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Yes, it's an expansion pack. This video is going to be showcasing just everything you guys have have said about the upcoming expansion pack and what you think of it. I made a YouTube community post yesterday. What are your honest thoughts on the eco lifestyle reveal trailer? I will be selecting a ton of the top responses you upvote to be included in a discussion video coming tonight. Well, that video was supposed to come out last night, but I kind of got really tired and needed to sleep. So I let you guys know that it would be coming today. I'm going to read you guys 20 responses from this post. Then I'm going to go to the official trailer on YouTube and read the responses there because of course the entire community doesn't exist on the comment section of my community post. Sailor posts, I hope the gameplay is better than the trailer. I feel that the clean up the city section is too much like what we've seen in Sulani and the island living expansion. Ladders should have been in tiny living and the electronics could have been in university. I agree with that. That's actually the first thing that I thought of when I read the comments after watching the trailer and saw everybody talking about ladders because I didn't even notice it. I was like ladders? What? That should have came with tiny living it just makes sense you're building a small home in a confined space if that home has multiple floors and you have to put a staircase in that just uses so much of that space you're trying to conserve it literally makes sense to have a ladder that should have come either with tiny living or the patch before tiny living up next me posts i'm not excited about this to be honest it feels like the sims team has been focused a bit too much on trying to teach their fan base how to be good people through what content they include in the sims yeah I definitely can see that. Burglary doesn't exist, exactly. You can't be mean to other Sims, but not in a way that affects relationships because everyone should be happy and friends with everyone. The concept of eco living has been partially included in various games, island living in the most obvious, and I don't even disagree with the message. I don't disagree at all, but I just cannot but think, hey, maybe you should focus on making good, deep gameplay before you spend all your time and resources on somewhat niche concepts surrounding modern day activities. Activism. Oh, that's a really good point. I understand that for a lot of people, activism is very important to their daily lives, and I would never stand in the way of that. But for a simulation game that's still lacking so much compared to its predecessors, I wish they would broaden their horizons. Regardless of what I think, what's done is done, and I hope that at least some people will enjoy this pack. This comment kind of makes me think of other things that are missing in The Sims. Yes, burglary doesn't exist, and I feel like it should, but also in The Sims 4, there really aren't many consequences to actions. I miss having consequences to literally everything that you do in the game. Up next, Duchess Clotho posts, it seems like EA has created a narrative and that narrative is forcing some obscure utopian society on us where everything is rainbows and unicorns. Gone are the days of being able to create your own world any way you want and being able to relate to your Sims. It just seems manufactured and fake. I truly haven't really liked The Sims since Sims 2. Sims 3 was glitchy 
cringy and the characters were ugly and Sims 4 is a snooze fest that has been severely dumbed down. Hearing the news of a country living expansion got my attention and I would have bought it, but no. We have been let down by EA once again. Truthfully, I haven't played Sims 4 in a long time. I definitely won't get this expansion because I have zero interest in a game that is pushing an agenda on me. That's a really good point, that last part. I personally like like the eco-friendly stuff, but I do feel like they kind of already covered that with the island living pack and I just feel like they just recycled that idea for another expansion pack. I don't know why, I feel like a lot of this stuff in a way could have come with that expansion pack since I feel like the island living expansion pack wasn't complete, but that's my opinion. Not everybody thinks that. But yeah, I see the point of this. With the island living pack, with the conservation career, it's basically, you know, take the earth in a very dystopian state or, you know, polluted and dirty and basically clean it up and make it nice, pretty and perfect. And it's kind of the same theme occurring with this pack. Like, what about players that want to do the opposite? What about players that want to take something that's beautiful, clean and perfect and make it terrible and make like a dystopian society? I'm not saying like that's something that you should promote in real life. But at the end of the day, this is a simulation game. This is a life simulation game. This is a sandbox game. And I feel like players should have the ability to do that if they want. And I can definitely see where they're coming from. That an agenda is being pushed on them. Ada S posts, this could have been a cool pack if they hadn't done island living and tiny living first. It seems pointless and boring after one playthrough. I feel like they wanted to do something cool with Island Living and kind of failed, so they're trying to do it better this time. Why though? How many times do we have to tell them that we want content that is replayable, like Seasons? This is just a gimmick. Cool, I get a turbine. That sounds like a stuff pack to me. No gameplay. I will say though that in EA's defense and in this pack's defense, we really haven't seen too much of this yet. We literally just have a reveal trailer and we have a blog post, some screenshots, and character avies and maybe a few Q and A's from the gurus on Twitter. That's pretty much all we have. So we can't really judge it too much as far as, you know, not having gameplay or having certain features because we don't know everything yet. But from the looks of it, I can see why you say that. Up next, Jeff Kaplan posts, the fact that we don't even have cars, but we now have eco pack is just stupid. The whole pack is just a mashup of already existing things and nothing unique or interesting. The world looks awful, even when it's clean. <laughs> Overall, it's just a big flop. and kind Kinda sad that it's the only expansion this year. Yeah, I think it is the only expansion this year. Damn. Oh well. Caitlin Willis posts, this definitely seems like it would be more suitable as a game pack than an entire expansion pack. It's almost a regurgitation of the island living concept. I can't knock it completely since real gameplay hasn't been revealed yet, exactly. But I think it's expected to be another disappointment by a lot of people without any replayability. And that's been a huge issue in this game since launch, a huge issue. We just want our money's worth for once. All right, up next on the top comments, it should be a game pack. It doesn't seem like it has enough brand new assets or ideas to be worth 40 simoleons. The chick is the same as the hamster from My First Pet. The ladders are from Island Living, the bikes are from University, and the idea of cleaning up was attempted in Island Living. I think it has enough new features to be a game pack. I see where you guys are coming from. <laughs> Everyone seems so frustrated. Oof. You know, I kind of like the concept of this pack, but after reading this stuff, it's kind of just like, am I delusional or something? Maybe this isn't worth it? I don't know. Melody posts, I'm excited, but I don't see why it is an expansion pack instead of a game pack. I'm not gonna buy it as soon as I did with Seasons. Maybe I'll wait for a sale. Speaking of eco-friendly and recycling, looks like the Sims team did a great job of recycling ideas. <laughs> This looks like a horrible mashup of Strangerville, Island Living, and Tiny Living. I really don't understand why the Sims team can't focus on the basics, which is what the community has been asking for. What about cars, more kitchen counters, normal sofas? Why is everyone literally saying the same exact thing? And that must mean something. We're missing a lot from the game and we're missing a lot of basics, things that we should have had for years now. I'm so sad that it's not country living. The horses and all of that would have been cool. This is literally a detail detailed version of the save the town thing we got with Island Living and the latter should have been from Tiny Living. Very sad about this pack, but it may turn out to be better than it looks. This 100% is meant to be a game pack. They've only thrown together a couple more random features on top to make it seem like an expansion. People are saying that they wanted it back during the laundry day survey, but don't remember that it was gonna be a stuff pack then. It's genuinely not enough meaningful content for an expansion pack. I do feel sad that everyone is so negative about this. Personally, I 
would have loved a country living, but I will wait to see some more from this pack before I decide to buy it or not. It does look like something you play once or twice and then don't use that much, but we will see. Hopefully it has enough gameplay to be an expansion pack. Otherwise, I agree it should have been a game pack. Like I said earlier, we won't really know like how much this pack has until Game Changer Early Access and pretty much until a pack's released. But normally when they announce the pack and they show like the key features, they normally like basically show you all of the important things and the main focuses of the pack there to get you to pre-order the game. They're not going to hide all of the, you know, main and important features from you when they announce it. Though I do feel like we're getting more, I don't feel like there are other big features that haven't been announced yet, if that makes sense. Julian posts, I feel like this was attempt to at all the things that worked in other packs. The main gameplay is basically the island living conservationist career. They have eyebrow and nose piercings like university. The robot-esque station is also like university. The candle making could have easily been in the knitting pack. The chick that looks like a worm. <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? Is it a worm or is it a chick? What is it? Because I've been seeing both and I don't know what it is. It honestly looks like a bird, but apparently it's a worm. Everybody's been saying it's a worm. The chick that looked like a worm lived in what looked like a recolor of the bee box. <laughs> Honestly, Eco Living should have been combined with Tiny Living into one expansion pack. I mean, the only thing that isn't a copy is functional ladders, but even that was technically also in Island Living. Wait, ladders were in Island? Oh, I see, because of, yeah, the way to get to the boats, I think. The docks, basically, right? We did have ladders in Island Living, but not like how they're going to be in this pack. All right, I'm gonna pull up just a few more from my community post, and then we're gonna go on the YouTube video for the official trailer. I'm afraid to look at those. <laughs> I'm so afraid to look at those, because when I react to the trailer, the responses there were not good. Like they were not good at all. Isaiah posts, I hope that there's an option for the world to be clean and not something like Strangerville where we have to go and do long winded tasks just to get the world to look nice. I am however glad that the conservation career will actually have purpose this time unlike Island Living. The fact that we're basically calling the new career in this pack the conservation career when we already had a conservation career in Island Living is actually kind of sad because they shouldn't be separate packs. They should be one pack. I know a lot of people are not liking this pack, but I think we may be too quick to judge. From a builder standpoint, there are definitely a bunch of new BB objects that are cool, like the container wallpapers. I saw those, they look cool. Many people probably don't like it since they saw the false leaks about a farming pack, which I also think is definitely affecting the reception of this pack as well. You know, we saw that leak, everyone got their hopes up, and then this came. So it was just kind of like a piece of meat being dangled in front of our faces. And when we tried to reach for it, they were like, nope, you get none of that. This is what you get instead, eco lifestyle. I won't judge a book by its cover and I'll wait for the expansion pack to actually come out. Good point. All right, I can read these forever, guys, but this is the last one I'm gonna pull up from my YouTube community post. I'm kind of disappointed, not gonna lie, but I'm intrigued about the voting system for Evergreen Harbor and the building of the town, but I definitely don't think this should be an expansion pack. It feels like the main aspect is just a recycled system from Island Living, and I don't really see the replayability of this. Everyone's saying the same thing. Oh man, I'm really worried. I feel like when this pack comes out, it's gonna get dragged to the pits. Watch me end up really liking it too, and that means that I'm gonna get dragged to the pits as well. Oh well, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I'll let you know. Okay, I'm gonna read one more for you guys, promise. Then we're gonna go to the YouTube page. I feel like this would have been better if Tiny Living wasn't already a pack and it was all included in on as a game pack. Tiny Living for me was missing a lot of stuff that people actually use in tiny homes like ladders, solar panels, rain collection, etc. And now we have to pay for another pack to get the full experience in what we should have already gotten in a past pack. For example, when they made off the grid lot trait, they could have easily added the solar panels and windmills and all of that with Tiny Living. They could have added all alternative power options and the ladders and bunk beds and composting toilets. They keep leaving out things that would make their game actually worth recommending and buying. I would rather see the Sims team take their time and put out good quality packs with more depth than rush out multiple packs that have the same themes in them. I don't want to spend money on the Sims 4 anymore. Oof. I'm actually very shocked by this, but the Eco Lifestyle trailer is number three on trending and last night before I went to bed, probably 12 hours ago, it was number two on US trending. It's still at the top of the United States trending page on YouTube. I'm actually very shocked. Okay, but here we go, guys. We're gonna read the top comments. So The Sims 4 has environmental problems. We don't even have cars. <laughs> oh, 
I knew that these would be savage. I, oh my gosh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for these comments. <sighs> I would have liked it if robbers were added with this pack. I think they would have fitted in well, like maybe as it got cleaner and the community got better, crime rates also decreased. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. Pay $40 for expansion pack, EA. Here there's some world filled with trash, junk pollution stuff. Now do us a favor and clean it, then quit your interesting career to pick up trash. <laughs> As a stuff pack, I'd consider buying this, even though I think they should have included it in another pack to begin with. Example, universities or tiny living, or put it in an update to an existing pack. As its own expansion pack though, really? They could have added a stuff pack to go along with the island expansion since it already had the conservation career. Stop with the money grabbing. Man, people are not feeling this. There's a lot of dislikes on this too. When I first liked this video, because I liked it before it came out, it was literally like a 99.5% like ratio, and now it's like, maybe be close to 80% like and 20% dislike. If EA really cared about an eco lifestyle, they would have made a promise to donate half the profits of this expansion pack to charities fighting against climate change. Also, I've never had a comment be this popular before, which is great, and I'm just glad people care about the environment too. It's nice that they bring awareness to the environment though. So nice of the Sims team to give Paralives this much of a head start. <laughs> oh my gosh. Starting to wish any company that wasn't EA owned the Sims franchise. Whew. The way modders are doing more than EA to make the game better. Shaking my head, what garbage is this? Next expansion pack will be social distancing. <laughs> this sucks. WTF. Sims, we want something fun, and what do we get? A freaking expansion pack to pick up garbage. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Me. Mom, can we get games at the store? Mom, we already have games at home. Games at home. I don't understand what happened to The Sims. Like, Sims 3 was so different and much better than Sims 4. Okay, guys, just a few more and I'm gonna stop because this has been brutal. This has been really brutal. And I knew that they would be funny, but I didn't know that they would, like, be, like, this bad. It's more crap like this that just has me supporting the amazing Sims modding community. Let's give a shout out to the modding community. They're awesome. Those people work their butts off to make The Sims more fun. They do. One more, guys. We're gonna do one more. Can't wait for Paralives. End of story. Edit. They're giving us everything that EA and the Sims team aren't giving us. Like bunk beds, babies that aren't objects, color wheels, and lots more. They're actually listening to what we're saying to them and all of our suggestions. Don't get me wrong, I love the Sims. Me too. But they've honestly been disappointing a lot of us. Yeah, I agree. This is why I just stick with Laggy Sims 3. I've been playing Sims 3 a lot lately, and luckily, it hasn't been lagging for me, and I miss that game so much. Oh my gosh, the gameplay depth is just out of this world. The custom worlds are beautiful. No, I'm not even lying. Let me show you. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a few more. Kylie Jenner, when she sees this, <laughs> is that a chicken? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me a modder who does it out of love for The Sims provide me more content for free while you're over here making us pay hundreds to do basic features that should be in the base game? I see Death by Flies are back, but behind a $40 paywall. Oof. I just remember Death by Flies are back. I don't know how I missed that. That was at the beginning of the trailer. All right, guys, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough savagery for the day. I was expecting things to be funny. I wasn't expecting things to be that brutal. That was brutal, but you get the point. Basically, people are pretty unhappy with this expansion pack, or at least the announcement of it. Obviously, the pack's not out. Comes out June 5th for everyone, basically. Yeah, PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. So on June 5th, you can experience it yourself to see if you like it or not, or you can watch the Game Changers play it to see if you like it enough to want to purchase it. That's another good option as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Share your thoughts on The Sims 4 Eco lifestyle expansion pack down in the comment section of this video right now. Let me know what you think. Be honest and open. And I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube. Click subscribe to become a supporter and ding the bell next to it to receive notifications for any type of future upload on the channel so that you could be a part of the notification squad. You can follow me on social media that includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more. Links are down below. You can also cop Pixelate merch. 100% of merch revenue is going to be donated to COVID-19 relief from now until the very end of the year. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. So long.